Mama? Forget what just happened. I'm sorry, sweetheart. We we were arguing again. But it's not your fault, I promise. Please, there's nothing to worry about. Go to sleep now, Layali. I don't want to. You have training. First thing in the morning. How do you expect to? I'm scared to sleep. I don't want to have bad dreams again. Are you still having the same nightmares? You called it your guardian angel. What does it do that's so frightening? She likes to show me scary pictures of my dreams. I saw Baba and you fighting. Sometimes she comes to talk to me, but not when I'm asleep. I don't think anyone else can see her, like a ghost. What else? She showed me how to kill. You mean, like when we hunt for prey? How our prey is killed and becomes our food? She showed me how dogs can be killed too. They stopped breathing and wouldn't wake up again. A real memorial must know how to defeat her enemies. Defending her. Why? Don't you two realize? She's a metal dog. Metal dog. Metal dog. Metal dog. Metal dog. Metal dog. You've deceived us. We we trusted you. Yoria, please calm down. D don't hurt her. Confess, you're not a wanderer at all. Are you, Are you going, going to, to let, let this, this bitch push you around? No, I'm not. Then move, Layali. Defend, Defend yourself. yourself. You, you are weak, aren't you? Even your new pack me. Gloria, <laughs> stop! Knock it off! Stop fighting! I'm a metal dog, or used to be, yes. So what? I'm still me. Lying bitch. Please, let's talk through this. I may have lied about where I came from, but I'm the same as I have always been. Judge me as you've grown to know me. Please, I come in peace. It doesn't matter. You have come from the pack of bright meadows. Yeah, I have. So what? Is that pack somehow lesser than your precious rock dwellers? Or do you just hate nomads in general? Leoli, please understand. Understand what? Tell me what's wrong with me. 
gear pack. The dogs in the meadows supposedly are cursed. I, I mean, that's what we're told. We yearlings are not permitted to interact with outside packs at all. Only the royals can decide whether foreigners warrant our trust. We usually don't know anything about them personally. As for curses, we don't know if the stereotype is true or not. But if the royals found out, found out that there were meadow dogs near our borders. Of course you know the story of the first colors. Every painted dog knows it. But there's so much more to that era that needs to be passed down to the future generations of our pack. As the legend goes, Light's army, the dogs of the Highlands, were painted in bright, vivid colors, fierce and brave, determined to protect the wonderful gift that Light has bestowed. However, dogs of the meadows and lowlands were cursed. Your ancestral kings and queens were painted pure black, as if they were supporters of Dark and represented his shadows. These dogs were mindless, savages, as if they were a collection of puppets controlled by Dark's misdeeds and his upset of the balance of color, used as a tool in opposition to light, and after their time, after the war was over, the dogs of the meadows lived on, passing down the shadows running through their blood. So you're telling me your distrust for my pack is based off of, of a legend? We could be peaceful, for all you know. We could be a regular pack, just like you. Theoria, she doesn't even believe in painted dog lore. What nonsense. I'm defending my packmates from a filthy liar. I may not believe in the stories of light and dark, but any Ash dog will know not to trust those who use deceit to sneak their ways into our ranks. Why exactly did you leave your pack? There must be some explanation as to why you're not with them. We are protected here. This is our safe haven. We are safe from those who we do not trust. I have attacked you because that is what a good leader does. Isn't that what our pack wants from our royal family? Someone who is willing to do whatever it takes to prove their loyalty? Lehali, please. Our royals put their faith in our legends. It's like you said the day I told the stories to the puppies. We Ash Dogs really do believe it to be actual history. It's just our way. We're distrustful of... of descendants of Dark's army. I promise we don't hate you. You just hate my family! I can't believe this at all. Your pack is just... ignorant! I have lived among you for weeks, yet you seem to have no idea who I am! Have I ever seemed dangerous to you? Posed any sort of threat. This is who I am. We want you to live among us. We welcomed you into our family. We want to trust you, Leali. You. You've known I wasn't being truthful all along. You've known I'm a former meadow dog. And have still chosen to defend me. Thank you. Kachia? Where's Kachia? No! She must have gone back to tell our packmates. Good. To warn them. How could she? They may hurt Leoli. Quasi certainly would. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going anywhere, packmate. What's happening? An earthquake? You're acting as if they're wrong for believing so. Are they right, though? Is that why Mama and I have dreamwalkers? Because Dark cursed our ancestors and we are still being punished for it? Took you long enough to start asking questions. I never, ever learned that part of the story. Have the Meadow Elders been conveniently omitting it? Just how many more Meadow Dogs bear the curse? 
How many more of us live our lives hiding and pretending? I KNOW IT! An outsider like her with such a vague history? We don't know a damn thing about her! You know it isn't our way to turn away dogs in peril. Leali needed our help and she has long since proven her loyalty. But this! You know this entire situation has turned everything around! How dare she, a cursed metal dog, enter our pack! And on top of everything, lie about it and injure our own sister! Oh, I don't know if she's cursed. Just think about- Children. We don't judge an outsider by where they come from. All three of you know this. This situation is no different. Whether you like it or not, we've made a commitment to Leali. We have welcomed her and accepted her among our ranks. What we need to worry about now, at this very moment, is the dangers of Muambe. Veoria. You were close to the volcano when the earthquake struck. You were injured by the very rocks that took Leali's consciousness. It seems extremely dangerous. Is... Is Moambe erupting? It's very possible, yes. Get out! You don't have permission My to- My please allow me to speak. Zane and I were at the scene as well. Any dog within the area faces a horrible threat, but Leali means absolutely no harm towards us. Please do not punish her or send her away. For everyone's safety, we should completely evacuate the territory, including our new packmate. The tremors couldn't be felt from here in the camp, but I agree. We must leave immediately before... What's happening? Earthquake! Y you saw the metal dog. She was completely knocked out by one. We're in danger! Sarah, protect the pups! But Mama! Stay in and leave me! Don't panic! We have to leave now! Fioria, are you fit to travel with your injuries? I... I don't have a choice. Anyway, don't worry about me. Fioria, please. Don't leave our sight. Your healing skills may be put to the utmost test after today. Gather our packmates immediately. Quasi, help Syra and her litter. Amare, bring the yearlings. Make sure not a soul is left in the caves. Zara, take your brother and help Leali. You may dismiss the guards. Leali's safety is in your paws. Zara? Zara! Zara, please! I, I, I went to look for help! I didn't think they'd imprison her. I'm sorry, Leali. Zane? What happened? Leali is gone. We're the last. Let's hurry. I'm sorry, Fa. It's okay. You were defending your packmates from a potential threat. You'll be an amazing leader, Fio. I mean it. I just wish I could apologize to Leali. We'll tell her for you. We're going after her. What? You can't go out there now. We all have to stay together. Leali is our packmate too. 
She's all alone, and she needs our help. Whatever her course of action may be. It's too risky. She ran off. It's her own fault. Okay, I didn't mean that. Zane and I know the shortcuts. We know this territory by heart. Laoli doesn't. We can find her. And when you do, meet us on the opposite side of the river. Well, we'll be okay. Just make sure you idiots return safely. Piss off. I can't. My little buddy is in distress. And where there's fear, I appear. Well, of course there's fear. Look at that thing. Aw, look how scared our young princess is. Yes, of course. I don't need you to tell me that. What if the pack is in danger? I hope they're okay. Who cares? It's not, not like, like they give a damn, damn about you. you. You're, You're a spooky, spooky shadow dog, dog after all. And, and if memory serves, you left them. them. They have no reason to trust me. I lied to them about who I was. I escaped and just abandoned my friends without a care. I'm a disgrace. I'm a selfish, horrible dog. But still. I owe them everything. I can make things right. Even if they hate me now. Fioria helped me to heal. Zara believed in me and welcomed me into her family. The pack of Falling Ash saved my life. Now I can help them in return. I can. Too late now. <laughs>